What is up you guys? It's your buddy Upshell. Today I've got new information on a DLC light machine gun that is confirmed to be arriving in Battlefield 1 with the very first DLC map pack in March of 2017. Based on images released by DICE on the Battlefield.com website, we can see an LMG in the hands of a French soldier that is very distinguishable as a gun known as the Shosha. I probably butchered that pronunciation. But this was a standard light machine gun of the French army during World War I. It first saw service in June 1916 with French infantry and was also used by the American Expeditionary Forces from 1917 to 1918. Now over the course of the war, 262,000 Shosha machine rifles were manufactured. This made it the most widely manufactured automatic weapon of World War I. Now this is kind of contrary to some of the self-loading or automatic weapons already included in Battlefield 1, such as the Hell Regal or the Mondragon, which did exist during the era of World War 1, but often never really left the prototype stage or reached any significant level of use or production. So now that we have that brief history snippet out of the way, we can kind of start to anticipate the general performance and playstyle that this gun will have in game. Historically, the rifle was designed to be carried and fired by a single operator and an assistant without a heavy tripod or a team of gunners. It set a precedent as a portable yet powerful fully automatic weapon. It had a small magazine size of 20 rounds, but it was known for its ability to be fired from the hip and while walking. Now that might make you, might make you think that it sounds a lot like a Bar 1918 clone. 20 rounds, fire from the hip, I mean, it sounds like the bar. But you have to consider that the fire rate of this weapon, in comparison, was very, very low. While the bar fires at a bamboozling 600 rounds per minute, the Shosha had a much lower fire rate of 240 rounds per minute. If DICE uses the historically accurate fire rate, which I don't see why they wouldn't, this would place it as the slowest firing LMG in the game by a large margin. Almost half that of the previously slowest firing LMG, the M1909 Benet Mercier, which fires at a rate of 450 rounds per minute. So if you pick up the Benet Mercier and you go to shoot it and it feels like it's firing bullets very slowly, imagine half the fire rate and you'll have the fire rate of the Shosha. Now, the fire rate is even slower than all of the single fire self-loading medic rifles in the game. So clearly this gun would be horrendous if they stuck to the LMD, LMG damage model of 23 damage close quarters, which is the standard damage model across all the other LMGs in the game right now. So if this gun is to be any bit usable, its damage will have to be significantly higher or its time to kill will be, it's going to be horrendous. I'm predicting that DICE will put the damage for a single bullet from this gun at 34 damage. That would make this gun a 3 bullet kill. Now that might sound like a 3 bullet kill could be overpowered for an automatic rifle in comparison the Barra is a 5 bullet kill, but before that you gotta consider that it'll be firing so much slower. It'll be firing slower than all the medic rifles and those rifles are highly accurate at range and are 3 bullet kills and they can fire quicker. If you're comparing it to the bar, while well, the bar is a five bullet kill, the bar will also fire almost three times as fast as this gun. Just some things to consider. I think it's gonna be very interesting for a balance standpoint from DICE. I'm really excited to see what they pull off and how it all plays out. But that's it for me today, guys and gals. I'm really looking forward to the upcoming March DLC so we can get some more content in this great game. I really wanna play more Battlefield. We have the 10 maps right now, and I just want more, 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 so I'm really looking forward to that content. I will be sure to share any upcoming information as it comes out about Battlefield 1, so if you want to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.